Okay, wait a minute. Got a second. Wow. That's the whole thing. That's the whole intro. Good morning, everyone. Happy, uh, what is it? Tuesday. <laughs> That's right. It is uh, Tuesday, May 31st. May is already gone. Uh, 2022. And this week's classic sim is... 1991, I believe it's 91, right? I think it's 91. Um, Aces over the Pac Aces of the Pacific. I keep wanting to say Aces over the Pacific. I don't know why, but it's Aces of the Pacific. Now I have a confession to make. I didn't play this game back in the day. I know it's very much beloved. And, and everyone loved it, and, and it spawned a sequel, and it's, kind of, it's actually part of a series, because everyone loves the Aces series. But I never played it, because I wasn't really interested. I was only interested in, like, jets and modern stuff. So I really wasn't interested in prop, World War II, you know, stuff like that. So I never played the Aces games. Um... So yeah, I'm excited to dive into these. Um, I do want to show you something funny though. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys something funny. So right now, hey, good morning, with you. Is it? Okay, hang on. I can turn that down. That better? Also turn down. There we go. All right. So, um, where was I? Good morning, Fernando. So I'm using an actual MT32 for this music, but I had to mute my other MIDI muted. I have two MIDI units. Uh, an MT32 and an SC55. So, I'll show. I'm gonna show you something. That's just. So this music channels all of its sound through the M32 guns, engine sounds, everything. So this is what it sounds like with just the MT32. Pretty cool, huh? Right? That's pretty cool, right? Now, here's what it sounds like with the SC55 unmuted. Oh. Oh, it's not working. So when you have the SC55 unmuted, So 
that's what it sounds like. So when I was testing this, I was like, why does it sound like... I'm like, why does it sound like an angry violinist? And that's because it's not supposed to use any other MIDI units. This is designed solely, solely for the MT32. They so gotta mute the other thing. And that sounds normal. Yeah, Hitchcock guns. All right. So, um... Whatever. Oh God. Uh, Fernando, no, I'm actually using a Roland MT32. <laughs> so, friends, I thought today we would uh, try some single missions, some training, uh, some some various stuff. Uh, and tomorrow we uh, start a campaign, but today we're gonna try some training. So I like how you can like change all these things if you want. Um, so like a lot of these older Sims, there's no like pick a target key or anything. It's just point. It's just okay. There's the bad guy. Why? You, why are you? Okay. Let's see if I can hit anybody. If I can hit. Apparently not. Apparently not. Apparently I can't hit anyone. All right. Well, I'm not surprised. Okay. I'm not surprised at all. Okay, so these green blobs will eventually come into focus as Japanese planes. They look pretty good, actually, I think. I think they look pretty good. Once you get close to them, of course. Once you get, once you get close to them. Yeah, the controls are a bit weird. Like, it wants to... I calibrated the stick, but, like, it seems to want to veer to the right. Hang on. No, wait. I forgot about this. Uh, but... Uh, realism panel. Okay, so novice. We're putting everything on novice. So, ooh, look at this. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, here we go. Hey, that works. I prefer it. There we go. All right, let's see if I can shoot somebody. I just want to shoot somebody. Just anybody. Just uh, any of these guys. Any of these guys. Try that one right over there. Let's try that guy. There you go. Oh, there he is. All right. Oh, the throttle a bit, so I'm not like speeding past everybody. All right, let's try and get that guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. And then that guy right there. I want to hit him. I want to hit him. Hey, I hit him. I hear that. Hear that sound effect? That's crazy. That's a crazy sound effect. Wow. I, I can't. Thanks. Well, I hit him. You can change the guns, apparently. So if you're firing two of the guns, or all of the guns, I'm a big fan of all of the guns. All right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where's everybody? Okay. Apparently, you could use the uh, joystick to move around. If you hold down, if you hold down the, the second button, you can use the joystick to move around the, um, 
You can use the joystick to move around the, uh... You're about to stall. All right, all right, all right. Oh, my God. Okay, there's some guys down there. Let's see if I can shoot one of them. I'm gonna get you. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'll get you. No, I'm gonna not get you either. Oh, I hit... Oh, I hit one. Scratch one Japanese plane. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Alright, let's see if I can shoot another one. Come here, fella. I see you. Oh, I'm gonna crash, aren't I? Okay, 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 okay. Uh. Where are the other ones? Where are, the, where are all the other guys? Look at this external view, you guys. For 1991, that is pretty impressive. So everyone's behind me, apparently. So let's let's go over this way. Ah, there you are, you sons of bitches. I'm coming. Yeah, I know this series is very much beloved by people who... Whoa, why are you... Why are you... Why, why are you... Okay. Like, it really wants to go to the right, and that I don't like that. I calibrated it. Is there a way to calibrate it again? Let's just calibrate it one, just to be sure. Okay, so... Joystick. Okay, let's just do this again. Boink. Button. 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 Ground detail off in combat? Oh no, we want it on. We want all the things on. All right. <laughs> I think you can do that here too. Uh, I think there is a. Uh, hang on. I'm pretty sure there is a. Okay, it's not working here. Um, no! How'd that happen? Oh, hello. You're about to stall. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, hang on. See if I can hit that, that guy right there. Love the sound effect for when they're hit. I guess there is no ground detail because I'm over the ocean. Oh, there's a little ground detail. Hey, are you on fire? You're on fire. Yeah, look at all that ground detail. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Absolutely astounding ground detail. Well, you know, it's 1991. Detail in 1991 was polygons and sh and maybe some shading. Fun. Let's see some of that ground detail. There's an island over here, right? Somewhere. There it is. Let's see. Let's see some of this ground detail. Now this is neat. Listen to that. It changes the sound effects from the MT-32 based on your view. I'd say it's pretty neat. I'd say it's pretty advanced for 1991. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty damned advanced for 1991. look up at all? Is there an up look? Look up and forward. How about look up? There's no... Whoa, there's really no look up? Look up from a lower altitude? Oh, from outside. Huh. 
There's no up look. Unless you do that, I guess. There's no up... Yeah, there's no up look in the cockpit. Really? Me too, I didn't know that. So they used a flight sim engine for Betrayal of Crondor? I didn't know that. That's pretty neat, actually. Yeah, look at this amazing ground detail. This is astounding. This is absolutely astounding. Okay. Uh, let's end the mission. Let's try another one. No, we don't need to. Apparently this, apparently this thing has a full mission saver editor thing. Um... Yay! Mission score, zero. Well, that makes sense. I'm playing basically... I'm basically playing with uh, no realism. Alright, so let's see. We just did a training mission. Let's try a Japanese training mission. Because why not? This game does not have a lot of controls. This is a very small card. And they're, oh. Did I, did I hit him? Did I hit him? Oh. Apparently I didn't. Come on, let me get back in the... Damn it. Yeah. No, no. No, no. There we go. Jeez. I know, very different. Um Is that an A-10 Warthog? What is that? <laughs> Probably a Liberator. Well, American planes are tough. Now, here's, here's an interesting thing. In that American aircraft, when we went outside, the propeller sound changed, but here it doesn't. That's a bit weird. Did they think we wouldn't notice? Did they think we wouldn't notice that things are different? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I think they're, I don't think they're B-50, I don't think they're, oh, B-25s, yeah, yeah, that's what they are, yeah, pretty sure. B-25s, yes, yes, yes. I think you are right. <laughs> All right. Hello, I'm going to shoot you now. I'm going to be your murderer for today. <laughs> are they using miles per hour? Oh my god, they are. Guys, come on, Dynamics. Come on, Dynamics, get your shit together. Jeez Louise, Dynamics. You're never gonna last as a game company doing stuff like this. <laughs> I have to say, 
for using the M32 for sound effects like this is actually really impressive. Ah! Like, I gotta say, that is really impressive that how it's using the M MT32 for engine sounds and everything. Like, why couldn't Tornado do that? <laughs> Tornado came out a year or two after this. Why couldn't Tornado have a mix of engine sounds from the MT30, from the Roland? Ah! No more B-flat bombing. Boing! Ah! Woo! Wee! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oop! That'd be handy to have some kind of reticle right here. You know, it'd be handy to have a kind of reticle, like, kind of an outdoor... Like, some kind of... Ugh. No, come on, get back in the... Uh. Oh, ah! Ah, you son of a bitch! Wow, how many times do you have to hit a, a, a bomber before it goes down? Jeez Louise. Yeah, you know what? For for two th for for 1991, I I can't complain. This feels fun and fine and good and everything. And whoop. Ah! You guys just flying in a circle or something? Like, how are you coming at me? Like, that's what I'd like to know. Like, how are you coming? Okay. I don't know what's happening. Uh, la 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 la. Okay. Yeah, they didn't have any belly gu belly guns on that on the B twenty five, if I recall, did they? <laughs> what is that sound effect? What was that? Okay, all right. And that... Oh, we don't need to replay the damn thing. Alright, let's see. <laughs> so, let's see, what do we got? What else we got? Okay, just those five. Let's try the Marine Corps. What do we fly if we fly the, with the Marine Corps? Isn't that we flew earlier? Hang on. Isn't that we flew earlier? Oh, this is a Wildcat. Alright, let's do the Wildcat. Oh, no, no, no. We did the Wildcat earlier. That's what we did. Okay, hang on. Time will be in, of course, there. The guns are giving kisses. That's great. <laughs> so I enjoy how, with the uh, American training mission, you're fighting other fighters. fighting other fighters, but with the Japanese trading mission, you're fighting American bombers. I don't know why I find that funny. But I find that funny. Hey, Thorsten. Is that from Hard Space? I need to, I need to return to that. I'm going to return to that at some point, now that it's out of early access. I hear it's been, I hear it's ended, I hear it's uh, come along quite well. Come on. That's a Corsero, right? Look at that thing.
Yeah, it came out of early access like a week or two ago. <clears throat> wow, are you guys flying in some kind of weird formation or something? What is happening here? I'm gonna try and hit that one right there. Well, I hit him, but I didn't get a sound effect. What's up with that game? Woo! Jeez, it really loves just shrieking to the right there. Catch one Japanese plane! Yay, I'm just gonna fly straight up at it. Ah! Okay, well, that was funny. I love how we get a whole light for a stall. <laughs> wow. I saw you down there. I saw you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Or maybe I'm not. Uh, oh. It doesn't seem to be any kind of padlock view. No. Oh, hey. How'd that happen? Yay! Joystick off. Why would I do that? I guess you want to fly with a mouse and keyboard. Yeah, look at it veered to the right like this. Look at that. I calibrated this thing and everything. Uh, let's try a different uh, single mission now. Let's see. All right, let's fly an historic mission. Oh, quite a few actually. Look at that. Ooh, wow, quite a few. No historic missions. Oh, all right. Oh. Realism panel. None. <laughs> we don't want any realism at all. We want no realism. <laughs> That's not why I play Flight Sims. Alright, so apparently this is gonna be. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Really? Give it full throttle. Um. Did? <laughs> Is there a button to turn on the engines? Uh, I am giving it full throttle. Oh, I thought I was anyway. I guess nine is full throttle. What the hell is zero? Pull back on the stick. Okay. <clears throat> You're up. I thought I, I thought I did do the, I thought I did do the landing gear. Oh, L. Please, Louise. Okay. Um. There's a Wing Commander style autopilot. Shoot down the Val dive bombers. Where are they? 
11 o'clock. Well, okay. 11 o'clock over this way, I guess. I don't see him. I don't see nothing at 11 o'clock. I just... Uh, oh, no. That's not what I meant to do. Nope. Not what I meant to do either. Okay. Uh, you change your... I don't see the bombers. I don't see the bombers. Uh, th 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 I don't see him. Oh, there's look up. Oh my god. Okay. Where are these bombers? I don't see them. Oh. Wait. No. Maybe? Behold! The majesty of Pearl Harbor! <laughs> Probably below. Okay, I'm still not... Maybe they're over there? I don't know. I don't see nothing. Nobody tells me nothing. Um, those brown blobs? Are those the bombers? <laughs> Pixel Harbor. <laughs> Bombs aren't the bombers, I don't think. Then where the hell are the bombers? Where the hell? Yeah, those aren't bombers. Those are, oh, those are apparently battleships. Wow, look at that detail you get. Wow, okay, that's actually not bad for 1991. You just gotta get real close. Oh, they're on fire, too. Wow, good job, Dynamics. Check that out. They're on fire. As a as a warm-blooded American, that enrages me. <laughs> Where are the bombers? I don't see no bombers. Oh wait, son of a bitch! Oh wait, no, I don't think that's a bomber. I think that's one of my wingmates. Right? That's not a bomber. That's one of my wingmates, I think. Right? Yeah, because they're the same color. Okay. Where are the bombers? I'm pretty sure that's a... Where are the bombers? <laughs> but I flew to where they told me to fly, and they weren't there. I went to 11 o'clock. There was nothing at 11 o'clock. I don't know what they want. <laughs> I don't see anything. I don't see any bombers, like, anywhere. All right, hang on. We're just going to end the mission. The mission is not complete. Ending the mission now is dangerous. No restart button, which is funny. Okay. Someone, okay, um, <laughs> what? okay, wait a minute. All right, wait. Yeah, no, I know. I, I know he actually, I, I know he flew in the war, blah, blah, but I don't know if I wanted to cheat that. <laughs> But we gotta go uh, Satan's Kitten Strike, right? This guy's a Hellcat during the battle of blah, blah, blah. 
escort zooba dooba doo against Japanese characters. Baba da ba dow. Okay, let's do this one. Realism panel. Overall difficulty. Oh, nope. I know it came a little later, but it just feels like Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe has so much more content than this. Taking off from Carrier, yeah! Woo, pull back on the stick, yeah hoi! Landing gear is up, oh yeah! Alright, autopilot! Friendly... Friendly fighters, one o'clock. Yeah, I see him. Let's go. Friendly fighters, twelve o'clock low. Sure. Bandits, bandits, one o'clock low. Okay, so that's over here. That's over there. And then low. Okay, let's go low. Wow, look at those. <clears throat> look at those, uh, those. Look at those detailed ships, you guys. Look at those. Wow, so, so detailed. <laughs> wow, look at him. Oh, is that flak? Ooh. Is that flak? Oh, wow, look at, oh! Ho, ho! Okay, that's cool. Good sound effects for it, too. Well done. Well done, Roland. Good job, Roland, MT-32. Well done with the, uh... Black sound effects. I dig that. That's very impressive, actually. Oh! Where are the bad guys? I'm looking for the bad guys. I'm looking for the enemy planes. Are those they? Those little dots right there? Friendly fighters, 12 o'clock low. Okay, those are those. Oh, wow. Right, no, I'm not knocking it. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, compared to, uh, is that a, that's a friendly? Okay, is that a friendly? Oh, that was hilarious. Did you guys hear that sound that I was being shot at? It sounded like, uh, it sounded like someone was rough. It, so, it sounded like someone was, uh, someone had a plastic cup full of chopsticks, was just rattling it around. <laughs> Yeah, that was not a friendly. That was clearly not a friendly. I'm, I'm thinking that might not be the... Oh. Good thing I can't take any damage, eh? There you, son of a bitch. Is that you right there? Is that you? Coming right at me? Probably? Probably? They use that my is that is that friendly or an enemy? I can't tell. Well, that was an enemy. Oh really? All right. All right. So I we shot down one one plane. Now what? So thank goodness for color coding. Apparently all the friendlies are blue and all the enemies are green. So, so that's handy, I guess. <laughs> that that's that's handy. <laughs> are, we, are there other enemies about? Oh, what was that? Oh, oh, that's flak. Actually, really good sounding flak. I have to say, I'm impressed with the sound of the flak. Getting close. Ooh, hello. I've been playing, um, it's a console flight sim called Birds of Steel, you guys. Look at that. 
That's pretty good detail, actually. I've been playing this console flight sim called Birds of Steel. And um, it came out like 10 years ago. But it's got a decent, it's got some great historic missions and several little dynamic campaigns. Um, it was for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And the flack in that game is phenomenal. Which is shocking to me. Like, the graphics are really good for a 10-year-old sim, but, like, the flack and everything is just so good. I've been really enjoying that one because it does because it's a uh, because you can play it on a simple flight model. So it's like I saw I saw a bad guy over here somewhere. I saw one. I saw him. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? I saw I saw a bad guy playing over here. Ooh. Yeah. No. Birds of Steel is the uh, precursor to War Thunder, but it's got a ton of single player content, which is why I'm playing it. It's got uh, two historical campaigns um, for the uh, U.S. and Japanese. It's got a ton. It's got a lot of single player. It's got a lot of single missions uh, for a variety of theaters. Plus, again, it's got dynamic, randomly generated campaigns. Oh no, my wingman's been hit. Oh no. So how do we know if the mission's done? Anyway, so yeah, Birds of Steel is great. It's got a ton of content. And so I've been just enjoying getting in there and playing a mission for like 10 minutes. Very fun. Very beautiful game. Yeah, oh, wow. And uh, yeah, the guy, it's got great flack. Woo! Wingman, you shall be avenged! Okay. Um... <laughs> but yeah, I believe um, <clears throat> I believe uh, Birds of Steel is the same folks who went on to make War Thunder. But uh, I'm really enjoying it because it's like you can play it on Simplified. It's got tons of content. It's easy to play on a controller. You can play one mission. They only last like 10 to 20 minutes, you know. The only downside is the dynamic campaigns. The only downside is the dynamic campaigns in that game. You can't save them. But uh, you can fiddle with their settings so, like, you win the campaign after three victories. So they don't last long. So it's nice to, if you have an hour or two, to just whip up a random dynamic campaign for the Battle of Britain, you know? And it's great. So if you have a PS3 or 360 lying around, I would highly recommend it. If you like World War II flight sims. Watch one Japanese plane. All right, so can I hit autopilot? Return to the Lexington. There are enemies nearby. Are there? Well, I guess I can't hit autopilot yet. Where are the enemies besides these aircraft carriers? Where are the enemy planes? I don't see any enemies. Except for these, except for these dumb aircraft carriers. That is really nice flack for 1991. I really have to say I'm impressed. Let's see if I can hit an aircraft carrier. Oh, it looks like it's already on fire. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's pretty cool, actually. Look at that. Look at that. That is actually pretty cool. Yeah, the first dynamic, um, I think um, it was A-1010 Killer was the first dynamics that I played. And of course, I love A-1010 Killer. They're nearby enemies. Where? Is that an enemy or is that a friendly? I can't tell. So 
yeah, I played A-10 Tank Killer a hell of a lot, but I never really got into the World War II stuff. And, uh, I have to say, for the time period, this is pretty impressive, especially these Roland MT-32 sound effects. Now, like, now you don't need a Roland to, to get MT-32 sound effects. You can emulate a Roland if you want to. Look at that carrier on fire. Look at that. Straight for a bit. Eee, wow, that's actually pretty impressive. That is actually pretty impressive for 1991. Um, what? What do you mean? You want me to actually manually land this thing? Ah! <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's do that. Excuse me one second. So let's try another historic mission, because why not? Um, you know what? Why not? <laughs> that is one thing I do love about him uh, using Roland units is like the music just doesn't cut off you hear it like fade out for a second it never just stops alright Quickest raising landing gear ever. All right. What are we doing again? Current location. See the rendezvous with the escort. See the Japanese supply base. All right, wait. Turn to the vehicle. Okay. All right. Time to strafe some shit. <laughs> what a literal crank? Yeah, the like like an old like like an old um. Oh wait, uh, to the entire flight. What? I guess I can't send a message to attack. Oh yeah, strike the... Three. Strike the supply base. So I guess I give those orders. Okay, woo! -hoo. Take that, building! Take that building. Stupid building. Oh. Alright. Dumb dumb building. What a dumb dumb building. Yeah. 
dumb building. I'm gonna fly around and hit the building again. I don't think I have bombs. No. So you might have to. Ooh, nice flak. Oh my gosh. I think I betting for 1991. That was pretty mind blowing, right there. I'm betting for 1991. That was very mind blowing. Because back in 1991, I was playing what A10 Tank Killer and and. Um, I was playing A-10 Tank Killer, and I was still playing F-19 Stealth Fighter, and I was playing a lot of Jet Sims. You don't have to deal with, you don't really have to deal with flak in Jet Sims. So, this would have blown my 1991 mind if I had played it back then, which I sadly didn't. Ugh. I kind of regret, I kind of regret that a little bit, honestly. That's for it's pretty mind blowing now to be honest with you. It's really impressive for for its era. My, like especially the sound effects. Like they really it seems like they really used this MT thirty two to full effect. I mean I know they had practice with doing so in uh, Red Baron, that's where they started doing all that, but um it's just really impressive. And the graphics are pretty good for 1991. I, again, I am honestly surprised how good this is. I shouldn't be. Because those dynamics folks, they knew what they were doing. You just destroyed a, a depot headquarters. Well, yay, is that a flat gun? Yeah, that was a flat gun. Ooh, fun. That was, that was a good time. Yeah, this is... I have to say I'm impressed. And I'm, I'm flying on the most novice flight model, but it feels pretty good. It feels like it should, you know? It feels pretty good. There's a little less flak now because I took out one of those cannons. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Here's the other one. Oh, there's some more fuel tanks. Nineteen ninety one, that's whoa, look over that palm tree. For nineteen ninety one, that is pretty damn impressive, I have to admit. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Morning, David. So how can you how can I tell if I did the mission? Like I have no idea if I did the mission. Ah!
How do I know if I completed the mission? I, d I don't. Can you look at the map. I mean, did I do did I do the mission? <laughs> I I I I don't know if I did it. Did I do it? Well, let's see if the autopilot will let me go back. Okay. Your mission is not complete. Oh, poops. Poopy dukes. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. So guys, I'm really wiped. I had a very exhausting weekend, so I'm going to cut the stream a little short today. I am really tired and I just don't think I have any I, don't, I, I think if I kept playing I'd be like kind of like kind of a zombie you know so I'm going to cut this here uh, but we'll be back tomorrow with more of this we're going to try a career tomorrow uh, hopefully I have a little more energy um, but yeah, we'll. I'll see you back here tomorrow, and we'll have the podcast too on something. I'm not sure what yet, but uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow.